This video is brought to you by Cybersalt's Joomla training cohort. Learn to do Joomla the way Cybersalt does Joomla. And MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. Okay, let's update SP Page Builder from version 3 to version 5. This is actually also the directions for how to upload it to 4. To do so, we're going to update it on the uh, JamaicaTimesJA.com website, which is a Joomla 5 website. That was a Joomla 3 website that was actually using K2. We migrated all the content from K2 into the core of Joomla 3, migrated to Joomla 4, from Joomla 3 to 4, and then updated to Joomla 5. And if you've done that, you want to follow one of the steps that I have coming up in here. So uh, here we are. Now, all of these links will be in the video description below or on the page on the Joomla training cohort that you're watching this from. We're going to go to the instructions here from JoomShaper on how to update from SB Page Builder 3 to or 4 to 5, and we're going to go through these steps. Now, first of all, we're going to make a database backup. Make sure you have a backup of your site, but in this case, we will only need a backup of the database. And so what you want to do is in the control panel for the hosting, uh, this this website hosts with my company, you're going to go to PHP My Admin and you're going to click on the database, which is the database for this Joomla site. And all you're going to do is just simply click on export and you're going to export, and this will export all tables. We will save it here. I already was doing this in practice, and now we've got it. If we ever messed up and we need to go back to that version, you could empty, drop all of the tables in the database, just empty it right out, leave the database, go to import, and you're going to choose file, and then you'll select that file you just downloaded and import it back in, and everything will be as it should be. All right, next, uh, update your template to the latest stable version. If it's based on Helix 3 or Helix Ultimate, make sure that the framework was updated as well. So a lot of people use Helix framework with the SP Page Builder. So here we are over at the site for Helix Ultimate, and we're going, it's going to click on download, and we're going to download the template, and we're going to download the plugin. Okay. Next, we are going to see the next thing we need to do is update JCE Editor. So if you're using JCE Editor, you want to update it to the latest version. Here we are at JoomlaContentEditor.net, and we're going to go to Downloads. If you have Pro, sign in and download Pro. I do, but I'm just going to show you. We'll find Editor, and we're going to go down here to the Editor Core. All right and then we're going to download all right we'll save that here now the next step you're going to see it says download the late oh so for jce editor it has to be at least 2.9.50 plus all right but just make sure you have the latest version in now we're going to allow, download the latest stable version of sp page builder pro now if you have an uh, an older version than 3.1.3 you need to update to the latest one i'm going to recommend that you do that and here you'll see why for uh, an error that's going to come up all right so we go to the joom shaper page to the downloads for slash extension and we're going to scroll down to sp page builder pro or light whichever you're using and we're going to download that and now we have it you'll see i already have copies of this from practicing earlier now here's what i want to recommend that you do right away go into your website go to system even if you have the latest version of sp page builder 3 go to system install extensions and then you're going to drag that in upload the package file and see if it updates if it updates fine that's good However, if you get this error, install J installer install error SQL duplicate column name category ID, do not try to upload uh, SP Page Builder Pro 5 because you'll end up with even worse problems than this. Here's what you want to do if this happens when you update, when you install 3. Go to System, go to Manage Extensions. 
and then we're going to filter for SP page. All right, now here's all the SP page builder elements, right? Even though we have the latest version, uh, 3.8.10, I want you to select everything. Now remember, we have a database backup for this, so that's good. And we're going to uninstall. All right, everything is uninstalled, that's good. Now we're going to go to install extensions and we're going to go and we're going to put in SP Page Builder 3 again. All right, that will work successfully and we get rid of that error that we had. Now, had we ignored that error and tried to install version five of SP Page Builder, we'd get that error again and then you'd be locked out a bunch of a part of the admin of your site and you don't want that. In fact, right after this video, I'm making a video on how to fix that. All right, so, but we can check here though. Let's go to the home page and refresh and everything is there. So that is great. Next step. Oh, by the way, I didn't put JCE Editor in as updating the same way because I have the pro version on here and I just showed you how to download the um, free version. All right, next stage, download SP Page Builder 5. We go back to the download page that is up here. Get your pro or your light, depending on what you want and download, save. And now we're going to go back here to the site and we are going to um, grab that file for version five and we're going to install it right on top of version three. That's how you do it. And wonderfully, it's been rebuilt. Update sites have been rebuilt for manifest files. Component was successful. We don't have that error. And that is great. Now, last steps here. Clear your browse cache files. So empty the cache on your browser. Clear Joomla cache files. And then check the pages from the dashboard and the front end view. All right, in the back end, uh, okay, let's just pretend that the browser cache has been uh, emptied. We're going to go to system. We're going to go to clear cache. And we're just going to check that, delete all, and there we go. The cache has been cleaned. Now we can go and let's check the front end of the site. And yeah, that is working. I use Control, Shift, and R to refresh. And in the back end of the site, we can go to Components, SP Page Builder Pro, and go to Pages. And let's just go to the home page here. And there is the new SP Page Builder Pro 5, all updated. Don't forget to back up your site and enjoy using the latest version of SP Page, Build, SP Page Builder Pro <laughs> version 5. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.